I'm a bit confused here. I don't know if this is a car or a camper. It seems to be a bit of both, really. It's um, definitely in camper van mode at the moment with, with two awnings, a wind out awning on the side and a full awning on the tailgate at the back there. But it's actually a car as well. It's, um, it's a Sangyong Turismo. As a camper van, it's the Wellhouse Tourist. Regarding build quality, these Sangyongs may not be the most sophisticated of cars, but they don't have, have a solid feel to them. Whereas the conversion work from Wellhouse is well up to their usual standards as well. They build furniture that's designed to take the knocks of normal camper van life. This is the flagship Sangyong Turismo and it comes with, the, with four wheel drive and a super smooth automatic gearbox. Now, we're only doing about five miles an hour around the site, but um, I can tell you out on the motorway at uh, our legal maximum, it's still only ticking over at just under 2,000 revs. So it's actually a, quite a lovely long distance cruiser, if you like. It's um, a leather clad steering wheel with controls. There's control for the cruise here. Air conditioning is standard as you'd expect. And a rather good option here is this Kenwood stereo, which is a bit of an all singing, all dancing machine. It'll give you a reversing camera, digital radio. It's a real neat piece of kit. Daytime mode in here, you, you do actually have some lounge space. You can swivel the cab passenger seat to face the two rear seats. And there's a table to slot in as well, uh, just in case the weather's not that great. But really a vehicle like this is for living outdoors and outside the vehicle. Um, and then of course you've got your kitchen and other facilities still at the back of the van. Folding down the four seats, putting in the inserts, adding these memory foam mattresses. Nobody's gonna say this bed making is anything other than a bit of a faff really, but um, the finished articles are actually really quite comfortable. Well, I have added a, a decent level of lighting to this unit. I mean, it's not very big in here, of course, but um, what they've done is they put spotlights along each side and across the back and lights in the roof itself. So it's very well lit actually. And the party piece of this particular wellhouse conversion is this, the cooker, which slides out and down to a usable height. So you can use it outdoors with the tailgate up or with the standard awning around you, as long as you've ma managed to ensure you've got adequate ventilation. So yeah, it can camp two, four optionally. And um, you've got all the facilities of a car during the rest of the week. What could be better? <laughs>